In this video, we are going to become Admiral Kazaru inside of a One Piece game. He is definitely one of the coolest admirals in One Piece, but that's not really saying much because all of the admirals are really, really cool. But we are going to be getting his fruit, Light V3, which is one of the strongest fruits in the game. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we actually get started on getting this new fruit, it's not new, but it's new for me. But I just want to quickly show off the um, updated version of the Honored One. My last video in the game was on the Honored One buff, the support style, and they buffed it since then, making it actually significantly stronger. But it's still technically not the best support style. Toji still beats it. I'm going to show you why. So if I go ahead, I'm going to be using another attack so that way it all uses the exact same like base damage. That being um, Ultimate Cyborg. But if I am on with Ultimate Cyborg, I have no buffs enabled, just my accessories and title. 52.7 million, right? Now, if I go ahead and activate the Toji buff for the, the Inverted Spear, that damage goes up to 131.9 million. Very, very good. But if I swap that over to the Honored One instead and use the buff, as you can see, default is still 52.7. Activate the cool little aura, and now it is 111.3, which means it's an actually a lower buff. It's actually 20 million lower on just like base damage. And I know I've seen a lot of people say that true infinity is a buff. If I go ahead and press E, I have it enabled now. It does not increase damage. All it does is it makes it where you just can't take any damage whatsoever until your energy is gone or you disable it manually, which really isn't worth it because it drains really, really fast. It's almost unusable how fast they drain it. Alternatively, there is the domain. As you can see, we deal 111 right now on the M1. If I activate the domain, we'll have to look at the hit marker, but yeah, still 111. If you look right there, 111 pops up. So there is a not, it's not a stronger buff, but it does deal significantly more damage for the Honor One support cell itself. If I, if you look at this, I'm scaled off of strength right now. By default, this deals 20. That's, that's Black Flash, non Black Flash hit. Non Black Flash, please. I have no idea how that works, but 17.8 without Black Flash. If I go ahead and activate the blue, it deals 56.3 million making it like a three times buff, which is significantly more than how it is normally for other things. So there's an additional support style buff on top of a normal global damage buff. So Honored One is, by itself is actually incredibly powerful, but it is not better for buffing things outside of itself. So it's still worth just using Toji. If you're like a fruit main or using swords or using cyborg, just use Toji, it's better. But I do want to see with the new damage, because they raised damage too. Not, they not only buffed it, but they buffed the overall damage. I want to see how much faster it is. I'm also going to go ahead and re-record the cyborg buff too for our new compilation, because there's also a new higher um, melee stat. So we definitely want to abuse that from the cosmetics. And here's the new footage. The top two ones are recorded with the brand new max cap for stats. And wow, first of all, Cyborg is way better. I don't know how I managed to absolutely demolish the old one of like, I think it was like 22 seconds was the old Cyborg. But yeah, Cyborg is definitely the strongest. Honored One also did very, very good. Like my Lord, 25 seconds. You could probably do a little better if you get more used to the attack. Maybe use less of the attack so we just don't use the domain because it doesn't do much damage. But oh my goodness, did it do so so good well and i could probably do better with yoru is, is, is it 18 seconds on the current comparison thing but i think that's that's, that's pretty good i'll re-record it later when i re-record buddha but yeah no gojo's way better and so is cyborg so i'm definitely gonna use the honored one just because it's new and it's kind of fun to use but we are going to become kizaru the light fruit user so there's a few different things we need to do. There is a V2 and a V3, and I do want to get both of them. I don't think you need to get the V2 to get the V3, but yet again, I still just want to do it. So we are going to need to get a light fruit, which I think I might have in my storage because I stored all my fruits a while back for more room. Yeah, there we go. We got a light fruit. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. I wonder, do we already have, let me search light. Yeah, we just have the cape. We have, we have the Admiral's cape already and we have the light fruit. Well, let me go ahead. Let's delete one of our other fruits. What, what, what do I not want anymore? I'm guessing out of all of these, I know Quake is supposed to be really, really good because I didn't, I didn't actually do a full test on it where um, apparently the bigger island you're on, the bigger the final attack is, the giant tsunami, but I don't need to do that type of stuff because it's only really helpful for stat grinding. And in that case, Sukuna is just faster because it has a really big attack on the world cut. 
So we'll, we'll just get rid of Quake Fruit so that way we can store our vampire. But yeah, no, apparently the bigger island you're on, the bigger the uh, Quake final wave is, which is really cool. But I don't need it. Oh, this one glows. That's cool. The light fruit glows. Well, let's go ahead and eat this and take a look at the attacks. There is no M1, but we do have light particle. That's pretty good instant attack. We have our R ability. Nice little set of just rapid fire attacks. Oh, it falls where our mouse is. That's nice. Then we have a ray of light. That's pretty good instant also. And then we have a Pika fly. Which is a pretty low quality fly, but it's a fly nonetheless. So it's probably good for new players. So they can get around easier. All right, cool. So we do, we've done that now. So now, now what we need to do, we need to get the V2. Which I think there's a dungeon for. I, this is the one fruit I have not looked up. I'm just doing it. Is there a light fruit dungeon? Pell, gear four, leopard. There is not. Okay, let me look up how you do this then. Okay, so there's two different ways we can get this. The first way is by running the maze because the boss does spawn in there. There's a 5% chance, which I have not gotten. I do not have that scroll. I just type in scroll also. As you can see, I don't have it. But I can run it. I can get it via maze at a 5% chance. But there's also an island I can go to, apparently, which is in the second sea. So let's head there. And we need to head over to this island, which I've never been to before. All right, then. So where's the boss? There he is. We can probably just like, there you go. Just punch him with Gojo. I should also make sure to keep this up because I've been dealing with a lot of drops lately, but they don't alert you when you get them. Second kill. And that took quite a while to spawn. It might actually be better. Let's head to Teleport Island again. Oh, it is not a maze one on this map. Whoops. Okay, let's go back to C1. The maze might actually be faster because you can run through it really fast. Yeah, it takes about 30 seconds to run through the dungeon. The maze. 40 seconds if you wait for this. Or you know what? He isn't actually here. He's no longer in this dungeon. They are wrong on the Trello. Well, that's a shame. Okay, let's just go to C2 and just sit there and kill the boss over and over again. We also got a quake scroll already. And there we go. It took about an hour when we got it. Perfect. All we should have to do is use it, like click on it, and then we should have the new light fruit. Thank maybe we have to talk to somebody no we do have these attacks are different okay let's head over to the blacksmith and check it out so we have our light kick which is a nice little instant attack pretty good default damage lots of range on it too then we have the pika fly which i think is the exact same maybe a little faster pretty cool i like the trail then we have blade um oh i put the sword in my hand and a little dash Hey, look at that. We have the sword, and then we do a little dash and slash. This, that's cool. Then we have a gemstone barrage. Yeah, that's nice. It falls on our mouses. That's pretty good. Nice little constant set of damage. And then we have our G, which is that attack. Now, that's cool. Nice little V2. How this fruit scales? Let me check real quick. I'm using the old one because they like at the newest one removed a bunch of fruits. But there is 79 different fruits in the game, including V1s and V2s. The V1 of light is number 71. So it's like the one of the worst fruits in the game, but it's still pretty good for early on. Then the V2, which we just got, is number 55, meaning there's 54 more fruits that are better. That really isn't that good either, but what we're about to get is the V3 over in C3 is the sixth strongest fruit in the game at least on pure damage this is like a pure damage chart it could be actually really really good depending on how fast they can deal damage this boss is quite hard though about the fight so i should probably go ahead and equip our vampire fruit and we have to head over to the shattered future island this one right here we have to do this dungeon the light admiral's battleground so there's a bunch of accessories we can get here but also the v3 scroll i want to get the accessories but i don't think any of them are better than what i'm using right now i think i have the best sets of all types like sword fruit and melee except for like some items for fruit which is like the ice stuff that might be better than I'm using for fruit, but let's go into the dungeon and hopefully we get lucky and get the drops decently fast. I mean, our luck has been popping off like crazy in this game lately. Oh yeah, look at that. 30 billion. Actually quite low. That's a lot of health, but that's quite low considering what I fought before. So fully buff ourselves up. You know, I, I love that episode of One Piece where Gojo Guts and um, who else do we have here? Sukuna and Alucard all like fusion together to defeat Kazaru from One Piece. My favorite episode. All right, there we go. Use this too. There we go. Now we're dealing 
doing damage. Look at her M1s by ourselves. The M1s shred. There you go. Anything from the first kill? No. We should just have to press our G, by the way. There he is. If I press the G button, this attack right here does a ton of damage. Look at that. 11. So I just click that and then melee the rest. Giving gems or tokens? I didn't even check. Yeah, tons of health just from using those abilities. Um, oh, well, we already got it. That is insane. That took two minutes. Well, shoot, I want to get the accessories. I'm guessing let's just keep doing it. I just want to get them more of a, as a completionist thing, just to have them. I think I'm missing... What do I have right now? I type in light. I have the cape. So I'm needing, I think it's the pants and shirt. Oh yeah, there's also glasses. Hey, there's the pants. I, I accidentally disconnected. So that only took a minute to get. How strong are these items? Like the pants, looking at it, is, is made for fruit for sure. Now these are about 850 less than the honored pants from Gojo, which is the best currently. So still not too bad. And the cape is very much fruit based. But if you have Cloud of Awakening, then yeah, Cloud of Awakening is 800 higher. But I mean, yeah, he's not too difficult. So like if he, these items are better and you think you can do 30 billion quite fast, that's pretty worth fighting. Oh. Oh, there's the shirt that took another minute and now we just need the glasses oh yeah this is very much a strength item which isn't too much worse it's only 500 less than the best not too bad oh we just got a duplicate not bad i mean that is bad sorry <laughs> by the way this is giving tokens not gems though so like it's not better to fight than pika for tokens still go fight pika if you want to grind tokens that only has three billion health so like really easy to kill duplicate 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 there we go duplicate and the glasses and the glasses are the weakest item of course significantly worse than the best hat probably not worth getting so we got that scroll earlier so let me go ahead put it on our hot bar let's equip our light fruit and we should just have to click it and it gives us new attacks right yeah there we go we also have the m1 we have the sword now okay i'm not set up at all for this i know because i still need to go in and grind gems to upgrade it but i just want to see like the default damage is like 4 billion. Pretty good attack speed too. Let's see. So we have our Q ability, Light Blitz. I don't know what that does. Do I need to be really close? I'm not sure. Maybe this is broken. What about the E? All right, there we go. An instant like light little attack. Good range on it too. That hit it from all the way up there. And we have our R. A kick. Pretty cool. Um, Speed of Light, which is our fly. This is supposed to be the fastest fly in the game too, by the way. From what I read, it might be slower now because there's been some new stuff since I last read that, but that's pretty good. But it's not the best fly because the suit lets you hover, and I don't think the light fruit lets you do that. Yeah, see, I can't hover. I just have to move. Ah. Okay, then we have light clones, our G ability. That is cool. That was a bunch of clones. That's nice. Then we have our U ability, a cutscene. Oh, that is cool. This is pro that's that this is like the longest cutscene I've I've seen yet. That is awesome. I like that. That's really cool. What about the Y? Ah, uh, just a nice little attack. That's good. Okay, why can't I use the Q? Yeah, there we go. Just doesn't work on the dummy. That's really cool. But yeah, so now we have to level up the fruit, but this might take a bit. I don't have a lot of gems. Yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm going to have to go grind gems, I guess. Let me go hang out in the Pika dungeon and just grind a ton. Oh, yeah, and for this, I'm going to be using the Vampire Fruit and Koji and Cyborg because it does over 3 million damage per individual M1. So it's really good for uh, the, that specific dungeon. It's literally just a one-shot. Yeah, look at this. That's insane. Okay, here's something really cool. If you're if you're struggling with your gem cap, like you can't get a lot of Poneglyphs, but you want to buy something that's higher than your gem cap, all you got to do is grind up your gem cap up to max, get a bunch of tokens, accidentally dash into a wall, and then just talk to the dealer merchant on the ice island in C1. And if you spin gems, I have to actually, I actually have to roll one to show you. you yeah, look at that. My gem cap went above what I normally can have because it doesn't like delete the gems. As you can see... I have 106,000 and my gem cap is normally 96. So if you're, so it's very difficult. It takes a while, but if you're struggling with Poneglyphs, that's a good way to get a little bit extra. Okay, let's see if that was enough. And yeah, there we go, we got it, awesome. Took another 60,000. Okay then, so the stats should be way higher. The default M1 is seven million. Let's stack fruit real quick. By the way, the only thing I'm missing for max fruit, I'm just missing Aokiji's coat, just so you know. I'm very close to max. Okay, there we go. We're all set up now. Let's see the damages on this item. So, Light Fruit M1, um, 700 million. Not too bad. Our Q attack can't use it because it's broken on the dummy. 
3.7 billion on the E. The R does 4.7. Light clones does 4.9. Our Y it does 5.7. And then the cutscene U, which is really not usable, unfortunately, because of the how long it is. 6.7. That is a really, really cool attack, but it is not worth using at all. Yeah, no, this fruit's really good. The base damages are insane. Okay, this is this is definitely number six. But let's see without the Q. Actually, let's go test out the Q. Where's a singular boss set on this game? Planet Judgment, I think, has a bunch of singular NPCs. Yeah, let's see. Can I can I singular hit you? Nope, cannot. But I did a lot of damage. Uh, Raid Kingdom for sure. That's where. It's got these guys. All right, let's test that. How much does the Q do? Uh, 3.5. Pretty good. Not. I, I'm not gonna worry about using it then. It's not as it's not as high. All right, let's see how fast we can deal damage. I'm guessing using the E, R, and M1, I guess? I mean, th this should work. Yeah, th th this should work. Okay. It's gonna. It's not going to be very fast, though. I can already tell. And there it is. I'm having to cover up the Yoru because I need to show the others. Because as you can see, it is still pretty fast. This is a ton of damage very, very fast. I also changed what I was doing. I just used the G and Y with M1 because you can use the M1 while you're using those skills. So it's very easy to stack all the damage very fast. And it's also less press, so it's easier to do. But it didn't do the best. It definitely could have been better. I'm sure there's probably a better combo too, but it's definitely one of the best fruit in the game. You can very easily put out a lot of damage very fast, but there is still better things to do, like Cyborg or Honored One. Shoot, even the Buddha, with all, which all you're doing is just him wanting, did it basically the exact same amount of time. You're better off just either getting Buddha, if you want the game to be easier, or just get Cyborg, because Cyborg is just so easy to get in comparison. Plus, you should probably end up getting the Cyborg race maxed out anyway because it's just good. And outside of the soul's essence, it's not too hard to get. Man, just to show this, if I use the fruit, look at this. So I can M1, right? Does a decent amount of damage. I wish I did more. But if I use the G, I can M1 while it's happening. And if I go ahead and do the same with the Y, as you can see, I'm, I, my damage is going up while the attack is happening. Dude, you can probably just use the Y and M1 and do a ton of damage very fast because the cooldown on the Y is very, very fast. Like it's almost never, like you can use it basically constantly. I mean, I know Lightfoot is pretty good. I'm very happy with how strong it is. And it is quite fun to use visually. It's very fun too. I like this fly, but it is definitely not the strongest um, here DPS. But I will say though, the rest of the fruits that I want to do, I have four more fruits I want to do in this game. And they're all more powerful than this one. And they're supposed to be really, really cool. So I'm very excited to do that, but it will take a lot of work. So let's go do it.